Well, let's also talk about shares of NVIDIA that we've been tracking here on the day. After U.S. officials order the company to halt its sales to China, shares moving lower here pre-market. In a filing with the SEC on Wednesday, the chipmaker revealed that the U.S. government has imposed a new license requirement for any exports to China and Russia of the company's AI chips. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley for the details here. Dan, what do we know so far about this? Yeah, so basically what they're doing is they're requiring them to apply for a license if they want to do any kind of business uh, in China as far as future exports go, not just China, but Hong Kong and Russia. NVIDIA does not do business in Russia right now, obviously, uh, as a result of the war in Ukraine. But there's two things uh, that this is really going to impact. It's A100 and H100 integrated circuits, as well as its DGX servers uh, and anything having to do with its A100X product. Now, a lot of this has to do with AI uh, and uh, high performance computing, things along those lines. So any kind of acceleration that we could see for AI, that's going to be basically out the window or require this new license. Now, uh, this comes, uh, NVIDIA uh, provided a statement through that SEC, basically saying that they may seek a license for customers, but has no assurance that the U.S. will grant any exemptions or licenses for any customers or that the U.S. will act on them in a timely Manner. Now, uh, there was chatter about whether or not this could impact the future development of NVIDIA products. Uh, they did get a, a sort of reprieve, uh, according to Reuters, uh, basically saying that they'll continue to be able to provide some support for their products going forward. But look, this comes as NVIDIA has been hammered as a result of the gaming segment. That was down 33% year over year in the last quarter. Uh, NVIDIA, though, did manage to balance things out a little bit by getting 61% growth year over year in its data center business. This, though, is going to go directly against that. And they said it could hurt them for as much as $400 million in this quarter alone. Dan, yeah, yeah. And to that point, you're seeing a lot of caution out there in the street. I'm looking at a good note uh, by the city team, Atif Malik, closing their catalyst buy recommendation uh, on NVIDIA ahead of their not September 20th GTC conference because of this. But is this something they can move beyond next year? Is this a, is, can they at some point recover from this? I think the, the, the thing is that, you know, China is obviously an incredibly important market, right? Especially for this kind of technology. Now, the fear uh, for the government is that this would somehow be used by the Chinese military. Uh, and so that's why they don't want to allow uh, NVIDIA and other companies to provide these kind of products. Uh, it, it will take them some time to kind of rebalance themselves uh, because, you know, look, we're looking at $400 million in potential sales in this quarter alone, right? Just add that up going forward and it could be a big hassle for them, but they still do make, they're almost riding even between how much they make from gaming and how much they make from data center. Data center has obviously been the big growth opportunity for them and what Wall Street looks at as the business of the future. So to have this kind of cut out from underneath them uh, as a result of these license uh, requirements is going to be a big deal going forward. Dan Halley, thanks so much.